Hi everyone, this is your girl. This is your girl this morning. I want to talk to you guys about something and uh, it's about the issue that we have in the news, another distraction uh, that appeared to be a racial uh, distraction uh, between the representative, the representative uh, Erica Thomas, I believe that's her name, and a white gentleman. Uh, she was apparently over the weekend was at the grocery store and uh, for the sake of this video, she was standing in line where the line stated that you're only supposed to have 12 items. And she had 14 items. Well, the white gentleman was mad. He paid for his item, he left, and he came back to inside the store and he cursed her out um, for having 14 items in a 12 item line, okay? And he called her a B. And what she was upset and he and she explained, I'm, I'm nine months pregnant, you know, I'm not the type of person <laughs> who looks at race or age or gender or where you're from. I look at the bottom line. What is the truth? What is the humanity truth? Okay. These are some of the things that I have observed of being the truth. Uh, to me, I don't think it is perhaps a racial issue. It's not a uh, disrespectful of career issue for one the man did not know that Erica was a representative um, I think is it, it's so many different bottom lines on two people I, I think it's if you take the representative I'm a representative off the title because he did not know that you were representative and look at it in and deal with it on the citizen versus citizenship then that probably would be better uh, the pregnancy issue um, now, I don't know, <laughs> but you representing the United States, before you were pregnant, you knew the line stated that you needed 12 items and not 14. So because you're pregnant does not change the right way. Okay? Now, we don't talk about the man. He has an issue about doing things, doing things what's right. Uh, maybe he grew up where he would got reprimanded that everything had to be in order uh, so he has a aggressive issue about doing things what's right so we having a conflict between superiorities here one the woman I'm a representative now it's a superiority over him he's superiority because you you're wrong um, handle this you know people do that but in order to resolve this issue, because I don't think it's a racial issue, and it prob he probably have a race issue, I don't know. But the bottom line is a humanity issue, it's a superiority issue, it's a, a way of life for each individual issue. Uh, and it has to be cleared up based on that and not on superiority. Not on race, but on being, um, responsible and mature enough to know yes representative you were wrong for being in that line that stated 12 items and you have 14 items because you pregnant you did not lose your ability to count and yes mister you have an aggressive issue because you think you can control people about what they do you have an issue too and I need people to just really look at what they are doing what are they saying and take responsibilities and not respond in an immature way like again i say i'm not taking sides on each one i'm looking at both sides you're both wrong you're both walking around acting as if you have a superior issue you both have an issue and you need to live up to it you need to really just look at the whole can the whole situation and apologize to each other because that's what that's what the bottom line is neither one of you are right <laughs> you're both wrong and then and you know what's embarrassing we got a representative for the United States representing people and you're standing in a grocery store line not representing the people in the right way and the gentleman, as a man, as a citizen of the United States, 
you're wrong for going in trying to control folks. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not for either party. He, he was wrong by calling her out of her name. He was wrong. He should have just managed his anger issue because he needs management. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But the bottom line is take the title off as you being a representative because he did not know that you are a representative. Take that off. It's a superiority issue that's going on with that. I'm, I'm superior and I'm a representative. Baby, take that off because he ain't know nothing about you being a representative. You're going to have to take that off and deal with this on that level. He's going to have to deal with on the level of calling you out of your name. I don't know what took place. Uh, there's no video. But just observation and looking at it on the bottom line. Measurement. You're both wrong. You're both walking around with a superior issue as you're somebody and you're not. It's citizenship versus citizenship. And you're going to have to resolve this issue based on that. And uh, again, I have to keep saying this because I know I'm getting beat up. Because, you know, right now people is heated over this racial thing. Slavery has been abolished. People, slavery, let me get, let me say, slavery has been abolished. Okay? It has been abolished. Stop walking around in fear that the president is going to take you back in slavery. He has no authority to do that. Lincoln took care of that. <laughs> I just, I need you guys to stop walking around with fear. And not only Lincoln took care of it, Jesus Christ took care of the freedom thing. And... I don't know. It's just crazy. Right now, we got an issue with the Mexican kids being locked up. Let's deal with this issue. But no, here we go. Again, being distracted in the news over what appeared to be a racial issue. What is the fear about? I just need to know. What is this What is this fear? And what is this superiority thing? I just need to know what is the problem. Somebody... Send me an email because I am maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. I don't know. But what do you guys think about this? Because this is so stupid to me. It is stupid because when I heard about this whole story, I'm like, lady, your pregnancy does not excuse you for not knowing how to count. And mister, your anger does not excuse you for calling nobody outside of their name, disrespecting a woman that is pregnant. I'm looking at it like both of y'all are wrong. Both of y'all need to come to. Yeah, both of y'all need to come and get on television and apologize to each other to the public. Because this is a distraction and it's stupid. Ain't nobody right in this situation. I don't give a flying crap what y'all say. And yes, I am going to post this video because I'm recording it right now. But I'm like, this is so stupid. <laughs> it is so stupid. Anyway, that's my take on this foolishness <laughs> this morning. You guys have a good day. This is your girl. Signing out. Confident Promises broadcast. <laughs>